Hello people, this is Bear from Bear Wave, and uh, today we're going to take a look at some uh, US stocks. Most likely we'll take a look at the MAC7. Um, as you can see here, we're going to take a look at Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, uh, Meta, Facebook, Tesla, Nvidia, Google, um, and then maybe we'll see if we have some time left for some other things. Now, if, you, if you're wondering about the US indices, um, I covered that uh, two days ago on the cover the NASDAQ, the S&P, the Dow, as well as the DAX. Uh, on a video that will pop up most likely right here where my mouse is and um, go watch that and uh, yesterday I updated the uh, Bitcoin count um, which also should be popping up right here um, as I'm talking so go watch that uh, if you if you will and um, I mean so I haven't I've been haven't been acting in a while so quite a new number of subscribers considering that I posted two videos in a row and uh, haven't been active so thank you for uh, Subscribe to the channel, and if you enjoy the corner, and if you're new, if you want to subscribe, also it's free. As well as uh, I do have a dedicated Discord, which once again, it's absolutely free. I do not sell any course, nor I don't have any intention to do so in the future. So if you want to join, the link is down below. Uh, another thing before we get started uh, is if you want, uh, if you have any questions, anything you want me to take a look at, um, cryptos or stocks. Then let me know down in the comments below, as well as if you have any questions on uh, the counts, also let me know down below, and I will try to make a video now once a week uh, answering all your questions in a video so I can be as detailed as possible. Now I think I said all all, all the things I needed to say uh, before we get started. Um, I'll try to leave a timestamp so you can skip um, here and there for uh, stocks, uh, but obviously I do appreciate you watching. That being said, guys, Apple. So, the disclaimer is, I hold Apple in my long-term uh, portfolio, uh, dividend portfolio, uh, which I am thinking about, uh, let's say, uh, bringing to the channel and also analyze the stocks in the Huawei theory. Um, let me know if that's something that may interest you. And uh, I did buy two more shares of Apple. Yes, I only bought two because, because I am broke. Uh, but let's try to change that um, and uh, you can help just by watching um, Again, I don't sell anything as long as you guys watch and uh, That's all good with me and uh, I appreciate that now That being said uh, That's the overall count uh, which I figured I'd show you um, very bullish as you can see a series of one two one two one two uh, now here you may wonder What is happening now? There's a case for one W X, Y, and 2. Um, there is not a case for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as a leading diagonal because if you consider this uh, a contracting leading diagonal, then if this is your wave 3, if it's contracting, this wave 3 should be shorter than wave 1, which is not. Hence, it cannot be a contracting leading diagonal. Can it be an extending, an expanding one? No, because yes, 3 is longer than 1. However, 4 should be longer than 2, and 5 should be longer than 3, which doesn't happen clearly. So it cannot be uh, any sort of leading diagonal, n expanding nor contracting. So that's my best count, 1, uh, W, X, Y. Um, you can even count it as ABC, to be honest. Uh, 3 down, 3 up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in a uh, ending diagonal into a C. So once again, 1, 2. Um, pretty much a three wave move. Um, you could count it as five, but if we zoom in a bit, I see one, two, three, four, five, B, C. Um, so that's, again, my best count. You may disagree, you may agree with me. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Now, now what, what I also like about this count is, you see how I'm um, obviously, you know, there's a super cycle degree, cycle degree, primary, airy correction, get smaller, both in time and magnitude, which makes, which makes me think uh, we're getting into a smaller degree, which basically why one of the reason I have this count. Now, one, two, three, four, uh, sorry, one, two, and now I'm looking for upside. Now, basically what I'm saying is, with this count is, we are within uh, primary wave three, and here we have a, uh, we are within in intermediate five. Now, the big question is, uh, and I'll go straight to the point. As you can see here, I do have some FIB target. Uh, one point, we passed the quality of primary three against one, 
next target would be 1.618 at $760. Now, for all of you who are, let's say, bearish or conservative, um, you say, Barry, what, what the hell? We're 200. How can we get to uh, 700? That is, um, if you think about it, if you think in terms of percentages, which is what you should do, 260% move to the upside. Now, where we were here, let's say, uh, let's say even here before the 08, 09 crisis, seven dollars to 60 was here to 60 percent and then we got even further so um that's all, always what i say to the birds to the conservatives um there, there there's always room to the upside now it doesn't mean now i know what it's going to happen because as always as i always say if i knew i wouldn't be here but it's possible that we will continue higher now my main guess is so as you can see here one two three four uh, one, two, three, four, five. So uh, I don't know if it shows. Maybe it shows on the daily. Let's go straight to the daily. Um, yes, it does. On ending diagonal into wave five here of my min uh, minor degree, which, as always, stream view doesn't really help. Um, and then clear theory move to the downside. Now the question is, um, I should organize this. But the question is, are we going to get an ending diagonal into wave five? It is possible that we get something like one, two, three, four, and five, and then fall back lower. Now, this is my conservative bullish count. Do I see any bearish scenario? Not uh, as of right now, I don't. I do see further upside to, to come um, because it looks incomplete. Um, you know, it looks like oh, some sort of one, two, one, two. So uh, it, the the worst case scenario that I see is at least you know some sort of one more like higher into some sort of a potential and in diagonal into wave five this wave five. So basically, I'm saying wave three could be here, a minor four could be here, and minor five could be here. Now that is my most conservative scenario. Um, the scenario that is the, let's say, the most bearish one is the one that I cannot see as of right now. Um, and that would take us lower. And if that would had to happen, um, I guess my best guess would be three, three, and down. So some sort of a flat complex reaction, which is possible, but I don't really see that happening, but it's possible. Um, so as of right now, I remain bullish. That is my preferred count. Uh, one, two, and one, two. So do we have a bottom in place? I have no clue. Uh, it's possible. Uh, we could get more confirmation the moment that we break this wave B. Something like this. Um, the fact that so far we found support on 200, which as you can see, if I draw a line here, that's 200, right? You can see well respected. Um, it's it kind of good if you if you if you watch my Nasdaq video where I talked about um, I emphasized on 20,000 and two months ago. If you look at that video from two months ago about the Nasdaq, I did say I think we're two months ago we we're around um, 18,000, and I did say I'm expecting it to get to 20,000, and at that point we might see something uh, serious to the downside, and we did. Um, so the same. You know, logic applies to 200. Uh, 2 is a fib number, uh, and 200 is also a, a psychological level, so that's why. Um, which is basically the same thing that um, applies to 100. If we draw a line at 100, it wasn't really never ex uh, respected too much, as you can see, uh, which makes me think at some point in the future we might come back down. To 100 now so basically that's the best scenario i will not um go too much into it as we do have many more stocks to um go well, no so microsoft let's also once again get started from the weekly uh that's my best count one two and uh, basically infinity and beyond um quite a bullish count uh but uh i mean possible um as you can see we've get, gone up parabolic so the fact we've gonna gonna parabolic in a log chart uh, means that if I switch to arithmetic scale, which is also called exponential, 
um, you're going to see basically something like this, which, oh, let me try. Yep, that's what you'll see. Um, so in a nutshell, um, so let's say, let's put it this way. Minimum target I would have is 0.618 cycle three against one, right? That would be my minimum target. Ideally, at least equality at 10,000. Um, so once again, same thing for the bear, for the conservatives. From here to here was a 58,000% move, which you could argue it happened because it was buying Microsoft here, right? Fair enough. From here to 10,000, wait, I completely ditched that, is a 60,000% move. So pretty similar, right? I mean, it's equality after all. Uh, so it, it makes sense. Uh, so it's the same move. Can it happen again? Yes, will happen again. I have no clue. I wish I knew, so I didn't have to make YouTube videos. So uh, one quick thing, it's possible we have, this is a primary, sorry, um, primary or intermediate, uh, doesn't matter, but uh, it's possible that what matters is you have one, two, three, four, five. So what I say is this move up, is of the same degree. Uh, it makes sense because we have alternation. So if these waves are of the same degree, so let's say this is two and this is four, obviously, this is sideways, this is um, sharp. So alternation, that's what we want to see, and um, that's why it makes sense. At that point, though, we could be in some sort of wave, you know, some sort of wave one that completes the overall move. And that could easily take us all the way down down here, um, the 2022 lows to that upside. It's possible. Uh, I don't know. Um, I, I can tell you this. If, th if this what w was to happen, then in my long-term portfolio, I would definitely be buying, uh, which doesn't, no financial advice, obviously. Um, none of this is. Uh, but um, let's see. Let's see how it plays out. If you look at volume, that uh, basically leaves you with no doubt that something is happening and uh, we shall see uh, maybe um, during this week uh, a pullback higher to then eventually uh, come back um, down. That's ideally what we want to see. Uh, but in a nutshell, that's it. I'm looking for upside and it's a matter of uh, is this a wave one or was this a wave three pairing up to this move. Uh, in the shorter term, uh, if we look at the daily quickly, uh, I think like I'm wasting, I'm talking too much. Uh, let me know, guys, if you want, if you like this kind of video. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, done. So as you can see, obviously, I'm following this count. One, two, one, two. Uh, but as I said, uh, if this is a wave five, then easily something could happen. And, and, and this would take years. Uh, so I guess we'll see, as always, one wave at the time, um, yeah, one way at the time. Next stock is Amazon, which I also bought two shares um, of yesterday. Once again, not financial advice, but I already had a position. Um, to, uh, I had a few shares at, at uh, right around hundred dollars, which here, unlike Apple, a hundred was well respected. As you can see here, one, two, three, four, five. See how um, same thing. So now 150 you know, it's between 100 and 200. So that's where you could expect something to happen. And ideally some sort of uh, support 150. There you go. You see, see here. Well, maybe you can't because I haven't zoomed in. Look at this 150. So work with the numbers. Um, that's what I'm saying. Um, but let's look at the wave count. Wait, pretty bullish here. One, two, one, two, one, two. Um, as a member would say uh, in the Discord, uh, I'm a big fan of one twos, but you know, you gotta be when you have these kind of, of trends. Uh, so one, two, one, two. Um, do we have a wave three in place? In place? I don't know. It's possible. Uh, but I mean, considering I'm saying this is a wave two and this was sharp and this is sharp. Could we get this? Yes, we could. And uh, if we were to get it, uh, then I'm will most likely buy more app, uh, more Amazon shares. Once again, not financial advice, um, but it's possible. Uh, so 
take you to the daily. Um, that's what I have. Potential wave A in place. Looks like a three wave move to me. A, B, C. Looking for upside and then eventually for the downside. Um, why did I buy now? Well, I bought now because obviously I don't know if this is wave A or if this is wave two. I, once again, if I knew the future, I wouldn't be here. That's why I bought now. And once, remember, this is long term. Um, I'm buying this for long term. That's why I bought. Um, if you're trading this, it's a whole different uh, story. So that's what I would look for. And I would look for uh, something to happen around $150 um, eventually. Down here, even a bit below that. So that was Amazon. Uh, I need some water, which I don't have. So I guess I'll try to survive. So here with Meta, simply in the daily, I'm looking for a one, two, three, four, five. So upside here, potential triangle uh, and wait for a validation level, which stand, let's say, let's place it here. Uh, that would completely mess up the couch. So let's see if that happens. So $411. And um, Overall, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Now, I'm always been a bit advocate for the th fact that this could be a three wave move. Let's not forget that. Could easily be a three wave move. And uh, let's see what's going to happen. But for the shorter term, I do expect one more leg higher. At least, uh, yeah, because we're right uh, below 500. Let's see. But I I'm expecting one more leg higher. Not gonna lie, uh, maybe I f to fail at 650 if we ever get that. We'll see. Um, but that's Facebook or Meta. Tesla, similar account. I also uh, draw this pitchfork, which I find pretty interesting. I'm not a big fan of pitchfork, I don't really use them. Um, might be wrong, might be right. Uh, but uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. So I'm seeing this, which you'll see in the daily a bit more clearly. But what I find interesting is the midline of the pitchfork. As you can see here, we've been training about that and we bounce back and forth. So that's going to be interesting. And uh, yeah, I thought that was quite interesting. Um, so daily, let me get rid of the pitchfork. As you can see here, one, two, three, four, five. Nice alternation here within primary three of sideways four, sharp two. And here basically I'm looking for a uh, Similar count to um, Meta, just different time scale. Um, this is taking much more time. So I'm actually contemplating about buying. Once again, no financial advice, none of this is, uh, but it looks interesting. And we are right about uh, $200, which is, makes it even more interesting. Uh, that being said, Nvidia, which I've been, I've been, uh, I've been calling on top for some time. Um, people call me crazy. Uh, now the question is what's going to happen now for the longer term and this is a tricky one. So that's my count. A one, two, one, two, one, two. And once again, I'm a big fan of one, twos, three, four, three, four. Uh, I don't know, to be fair, a problem with that is that this four is sharp and this two is sharp. But if I place wave two here, I will need to. I will need to make some adjustments. Um, Cause should I place three, four here, and then what? Three, four, five. But that does look right, does it? I mean, I get uh, alternation, but this looks just too much. Had it been something like this, then it would have made sense. Um, so overall, quite a I'm not sure about this uh, long-term count. Uh, for the short term, I am looking for. I should probably make a dedicated video on Nvidia. To be honest, let me know down in the comments if that's something that may interest you. Uh, Yeah, because that's what I want to, but that's three, four, five. <sighs> could have this ABC. This could also be a higher degree with A. Upside, downside. Overall, I would just follow what the other um, big stocks, big names are doing. 
So wait for a pullback and then for the downside. Alphabet, Google, here. Uh, this is interesting. So for the long term, that's what I have. A one, two, three, four, five. Now, same story as uh, what Amazon and Microsoft. This, in a way, is still possible. I wouldn't be surprised if it was if it was to happen. Um, but um, I mean, I wonder if like, what about this? This would be a top for the ages. But to be fair, on these uh, companies, as long as the fundamentals are good, even if you get a major top, uh, wave two shouldn't you know having a wave two here, so quite a shallow wave two. Uh, would actually make sense because the company is so strong. When, when the fundamentals are strong, you're gonna find buyers, and bro buyers will prevent the price of that asset, that financial instruments, to move lower. It's, you know, it's all about demand and supply at the end of the day. Um, so that's a short-term count, as you can see. Uh, it's it's a tricky one. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's not easy. It hasn't been easy. I can easily be wrong. Um, but I will be looking for the same directions, at least something like this before considering what is going on. So kind of in waiting territory, um, as you saw, I'm the sh the companies are most bearish, uh, bullish is, is Apple right now, which has been the problem with, uh, not the problem, the thing with Apple is, Apple was doing the opposite. While all these names were going up, Apple was, apart from Tesla, Apple was consolidating. And now Apple seems to be moving higher while these names are going lower, um, which makes it interesting, um, which is why I accumulated uh, some Apple shares uh, around here below 200. So that was it, guys. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. I will try to answer them in a dedicated video. And uh, subscribe if you enjoy the content. As you want, and if you want to see more, if you subscribe, if you leave a like, if you leave a comment, then I know you like the content, and uh, I will make more. Thank you guys. Have a, have a great day, um, and I will see you potentially tomorrow.